Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time it's going to be another hot lap setup video but I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to analyse my lap first and um, I'm going to do it from a, a bit of a different angle so you guys can get to see where I feel like I've made mistakes or what I can improve on. And I think this is something we should all do especially when we're trying to make setups or we're trying to just get the best out of a car. It's not always down to just a setup, sometimes there are parts of the track or certain corners or where you're taking just not the optimum line into a corner and I really want to focus on that for today's video. Um, I will still leave this setup but I will leave it in the description so you can download it. Um, yeah, hope you guys do that in the video of Cryptic TMG. Peace. So this is just something I like to do to analyse my laps. I sort of just press F7 in the replay mode and sort of go to sort of a bird's eye view which is pretty much like a helicopter cam but not quite but um yeah i like to use this view because i get to see how much of the track that i'm using or not using and uh, a lot of the time it's very easy to see the lines that you're using through corners so let's go on board the lap start it off and um obviously we're coming across the start finish line in the bentley the bentley does struggle here it doesn't have a great bop i find that it does struggle a lot when it comes to top speed and you might have seen my race that i had yeah, um, actual vision really struggled a lot um, but into turn one and we gear down twice into fourth then third leave it for a little bit down into second and that was already the first mistake if we can just go back quickly let me run that for again as you see we come into this second corner we don't quite don't quite hook up to the apex and I mean these look like little things but um, it's all it's all time it's all you know it's all gonna cost you just little bits of time so need to hook up to the apex a little bit better there Again, I'm going to stop it right here because we just we're not using as much as the track as we need. Um, and being in the Bentley, because most of the time we spend time in cars on the left hand side, sometimes in the Bentley you don't actually get a good feel for how much of the track that you're actually using on the right hand side of the car. It's sort of weird. It's sort of a weird one. But for me, when I'm in the car, I feel like I'm pretty much all the way to the line. But as you can see right here, there's a lot more of the track to use, which means there is a little bit more speed to have been had carried through the next corner. Um, again, going to the corner in a more shallow line, of, of course, is going to be a lot slower. So, um, yeah, managed to hit that apex fine, um, quite nicely through there. Don't we don't want to go too wide here, because then it means you have to sort of wrestle the car towards the right hand side to get it back towards the left. And again, this is another corner you don't want to carry too much speed in and make the next corner more narrow. But we think we did a decent enough job there. Um, short shift up into third pretty good through there managed to use all the track on the exit which is pretty much what you want and um, Bentley does tend to get a little bit of wheel spin there sometimes but it was fine on that occasion um into the Degnas now and this corner oh it's so hard man but you really do have to rattle over the first Degna just to get the car um just to get the speed into the corner managed to hold it as well not run too wide very easy to uh, invalidate your lap here but into the second Degna I think this is where our back end steps out and you'll see it now I try to get on the throttle really quick and the back end slides and I have to correct it so you can see how aggressively we come off the curb so definitely a bit of time lost through there and now this is the biggest mistake probably I made in the lap I just went too deep and you'll see it here I don't know I'm not quite sure if I managed to um, get the apex back oh it wasn't too bad actually managed to just get the towards the apex on the exit could have still been probably maybe half a tenth a tenth better but not too bad we would have carried good speed going down the straight in towards spoon um and i think i struggle just a little bit um rattling over these curbs which can destabilize the car sometimes but um it was pretty good managed to get on the power early here as well and i've always been conflicted with 130 yard corner ahead whether to stay in fifth or go up to sixth in the bentley um actually stayed in fifth on this occasion and i do think here again we're going to pause it just let me just go back again you're gonna see the same thing I did earlier in the lap where this area right here um, if you look to the right hand side of the Bentley there is some more width to be taken and and to be used and you know it's very important to use as much track as you can you don't really want to be shortchanging yourself because even though I'm about to go for this corner pretty much I mean almost flat because I'm doing it at a tire angle, it can still scrub speed. Even if you think you're flat, you can still be scrubbing speed off just by, you know, going to a corner in a tire angle. So try and make sure you use all the track possible. I didn't there. Um, I didn't want to get on the curb on the outside. And that's what I see what I did at the chicane. Managed to get the car slowed down quite nicely. 
and rattle over the curbs. Important not to get the car too much over the curbs because it does unsettle it when you try and get back on the throttle. But it was a pretty good lap, um, not too bad. 59.3, pretty happy with it. But that's pretty much how I analyze my laps after I've done a, a hot lap and just to see where I could improve upon. Um, you know, I haven't done something like this for for ages when I'm, you know, when I'm doing hot laps, just sat down and just worked out where I could go quicker. And I did it today and I managed to find a ton of time. As you, as you could see, I mean, when I did this race with ACR, I didn't spend that much time practicing and I, I get, I got like a two minute four and now I'm like 1.1 seconds quicker. So it just shows how much if you put in a bit of time and a bit of effort and I actually sat down with the setup and tried to make the setup suit me as much as possible um, throughout the lap where you know it wasn't Larry I wasn't having to you know watch the car in certain places and drive too safe and yeah the car felt pretty good but anyway scripted TMG hope you guys like the new format of the video and peace